Okay, I think you all know who y'all look at by the braid. Yes, I dyed my hair recently. And now it's uneven. You can give a big thank you to my brother who's wearing headphones. He had to wear headphones because his music would have been in my video any other way. I'm going to read you a scary story though. And if it keeps up like this and you guys all like it. I will keep reading you scary stories. As of right now, it's just... <laughs> He's giggling back there. Sorry. Anyways, as of right now, it's just gonna be this one scary story. I'm not sure if I'll do it again. It's called Cursed Doll. There was a little girl who really loved dolls. She had a big collection of them in her bedroom. One day, she was browsing through a shop on her own. She spotted a really beautiful doll that would make a perfect addition to her collection. She only hoped she had enough money to buy it. How much is that doll, ma'am? She asked the old woman behind the counter. That doll is not for sale, replied the woman. But it's so beautiful, the, uh, the girl said. I really want her. The woman became irritated. I told you it's not for sale, she said. Why not, persisted the little girl, because that doll is cursed. Well, that's okay, I don't mind. I'm not going to sell it to you, but if you really must have it, go ahead and take it. It's yours. But if something bad happens, don't blame me. Ah, yes, thank you, said the little girl. As she smiled and grabbed the doll and walked out of the shop. The little girl was so delighted to get the doll for free that she ran all the way home carrying her in her arms. When she got home to her apartment building, she went to the lobby. It was deserted. She stood there waiting for the elevator to arrive. The elevator door opened. She there with her new doll the elevator did not move the little girl scared began to tremble in fear oh gee she thought to herself is this the cursed doll suddenly she felt the doll move her arms ever so slowly she turned her head to face it the little girl wanted to scream, but couldn't make a sound. The doll's eyelids fluttered open and stared at her with its glass eyes. It started to come to life. It opened its mouth and said, Push the button to go up, bitch.